welcome. This is Sophie from Aloha Kinderschminken. Um, I received a couple of requests to do a mermaid face painting and this is what I'm going to show you now. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm applying green on the sponge. Uh, I think this is the green, the lime green from Snazaroo and uh, I'm applying it around the face. Um, there's very little color. Um, the sponge is almost dry. Uh, it should not be too thick. I'm now using um, another sponge and I'm applying the color gold from Diamond FX above both eyes in a sort of uh, triangle shape. And I am using the rest of the color that I have on my sponge to go over both cheeks and trying to blend it in with the green that I had applied before. So in the next step, I am using a brush. Uh, I think it's a number six round that I loaded with white from Diamond FX. And I'm just gonna paint some teardrops starting in the middle with the longer one and doing teardrops on each side um, that are getting smaller and smaller. And underneath two or three smaller teardrops shapes uh, to simulate the shape of a shell. I'm now loading my brush um, with the color green, metallic green from Diamond FX. It's a beautiful color and I am drawing a line with, um, which is basically along the gold triangle area that um, I did before. And the end of that line is just ending with a sort of a hook towards the inside of the face. Now I just picked up the sponge that I used earlier for the gold color. And this uh, sponge is still a little bit wet and um, is still a little bit loaded with gold color, which is good because I'm gonna use that sponge to go along the green line that I just traced to sort of blend both colors together. I now reloaded um, my thick brush number six with green and I am tracing uh, some swirls on one side of the face and on the other side I want to do something different so I'm just tracing three uh, teardrops. I am now switching to a thinner brush. This is a number three I think and I am tracing three smaller teardrops underneath the shell area and I am using this brush um, to draw some U-shapes um, in the gold area above both eyes. And it's okay if they're not perfect. They're not supposed to be perfect. They're supposed to simulate uh, the scales of a fish. Still with the same brush and the same color, I'm now painting her lips completely green. So the next step is optional in my opinion because I am using regular makeup. Um, I took um, a regular eyeshadow from MAC called Steamy Frost. It's a color that I use on myself every day. And I just thought it would look um, good with this mask. Uh, I'm also applying it with a regular makeup brush to go over um, the eyelid and the eye crease as well as underneath the eye area. I think it's easier to apply around the eye area than um, face paint because it's dry and it's just easier um, when you go that close to the eye. But again, I think this is really optional. Really quickly, I reloaded um, my round brush number six with white and um, I'm going a second time over the white teardrops that I did in the middle of the face for this shell um, just to make sure that the white is really bright. I now loaded a thin brush number one with white and I'm going to do a series of teardrops. Um, you can decide on your own wherever you do them. I uh, did some 
uh, on the forehead as you just saw and as you might have noticed they're not perfectly symmetrical uh, obviously you can do them symmetrical uh, it's up to you I think it's okay in this case because um, they're supposed to simulate waves so in my opinion it's okay that way but it's up to you how you want to do them I also added some on each side of the eyes and I am now doing some more um, around the swirl, the green swirls that I did earlier. And obviously all little girls love glitter so I'm putting some gold glitter above both eyes. I now loaded a thin brush number one with black. If you have thinner a thinner brush than one, you can go ahead and use it, maybe a number zero. I don't have one unfortunately, but maybe it looks even better. The thinner the better for this. Um, I'm just um, using it to go around all the white teardrops that I painted on the face, as well as around the shell area on the forehead. I am now using uh, the same color and the same brush to go over the green teardrops that I painted on the one side of the cheek and underneath the shell area. And um, I am also adding some low lights um, on the swirls that I painted on the other side of the face. I now switch to the color white, still using a very thin brush, number one or number zero. And I'm going to add some highlights in the dark green lines or teardrops. I'm basically adding a few lines here and there, wherever you think um, this might look good. And um, this next step is probably also optional. Um, just loaded an around number six brush with white. Um, and just um, adding some dots under each eye, going from a bigger dot to a smaller one. And also adding some dots here and there, just a series of dots all different size to add more interest to the whole design. And uh, we're all done. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any requests for face painting, don't hesitate to send them. Bye.